don't need you or your brand new bins or your bougie friends. I don't need love looking like diamonds, looking like diamonds. As Americans, we are always held under the misconception that freedom of speech is a tangible reality. The saddest element of what we have been convinced is the fact that it is not true. Our society has been convinced, brainwashed if you will, that we have a freedom that we do not. The freedoms we hold can be controlled more by independent institutions than our own federal government, who is thought to have made these laws. Schools, workplaces, churches, and other enterprises, private or public, have the power to tell you what you are allowed to say. Some of these institutions have so much power that they practically dictate your opinions to you. The largest problem with this is that any obvious stray from this pattern gets you as labeled for deviant forever in that particular establishment, and sometimes even in the eyes of the law. The truth of the matter is, the amount of freedom we hold is incredibly limited, if even really in existence. Where is the line drawn? What is harassment? What is qualified as a joke? What is slander? What is gossip? What are you free to say? Everything that I just listed is a gray area. The law is typically black and white, right and wrong, good and evil. Everyone knows that certain things are wrong. Murder, rape, and thievery. All of those things can be proven. Murder very obviously is proven by a body, a soul that was lost, and a person who will never get the chance to see their loved ones again. Rape is apparent by the physical signs and the mental impact. Thievery is clear when shown that something is missing. When it comes to things that are said, where can you draw the line? How do you know it even happened? The problem is, you can't. Purely mental crimes are nearly impossible to prove. Tape recorders or witnesses are pretty much the only two ways to prove it. Even then, recordings can be manipulated and people lie. Even if it can be proven that something was said, how do you qualify it as harassment? How about slander? Harassment is defined as something which annoys, threatens, intimidates, alarms, or puts a person in fear of their safety. Slander is defined as the oral communication of false statements that are harmful to a person's reputation. Something which annoys someone varies from person to person. Someone could be annoyed by a simple hello, while someone else might have to truly be pushed to the limit. Threatening can also vary, along with levels of intimidation. Something thought of as alarming and fears of safety. That gets harassment out of the way. Now for slander, apparently texting, Facebook, MySpace, and any other form of communication besides oral are not unlawful. You can say anything that is untruthful to harm someone's reputation by any other means of communication as long as it is an oral. Also, as long as it is truthful, you are allowed to say whatever you would like. The problem with this is looking at the way someone thinks about themselves. If you say, Cindy is a slut, and Cindy believes she is a slut, it doesn't matter how truthful the statement technically is, because it is a matter of opinion. The basic problem with defining slander and harassment is that they vary based on the person. Freedom of speech limits itself to every individual's opinion. What is found to be legal for me to say today might not be legal for you tomorrow. Is that right? Look around. Everywhere you go, someone is getting in trouble for breaking the norm of filtering what they say. The truth is, breaking the norm is probably unavoidable. However, freedom of speech is a lot more dependent on who is saying it, who is receiving it, or where it is being said than most people have been brought up to believe. I think it is time to either accept our lack of freedom or fix the way the justice system is put together. Our opinions should not govern the way we live, so why do they? And a better question, why do we allow them to? Carved in an old oak tree You wait and see Maybe I'll write like Twango Maybe I'll paint like Van Gogh Cure the common cold I don't know but I'm ready to start Cause I know in my heart I wanna do something that matters Say something different that sets the whole world on its ear I want to do something better With the time I've been given I want to try To 
Pork fried noodles. 